Okay, the Marines loads to go through today. We have got the launch of the game happening tomorrow and all reviews have been happening today. We've been live streaming over on Twitch and showing you guys the comprehensive movement inside of the online multiplayer, trying to avoid storylines. We'll get into why in just a moment, but there is so much to go through with this game and loads and loads of things to take the piss out of. Well, when I say that, I mean IGN specifically. We're going to take a look at everything happening in the Space Marine to community and you guys have been asking me a load of questions on discord and we're going to answer them for you guys today if you haven't already smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated and with launch happening tomorrow we are going to be giving away a copy of the game if you want to get a hold of it it is extremely simple head down to the comment section and put a blue love heart to show your love for the space marines and we'll pick one of you guys and announce it via the giveaway announcement sector of the discord link in the description tomorrow during the early act access launch means you guys will be able to get your hands on it straight away now before we get into the game all the gameplay you're watching is within the first hour of play so you shouldn't see any spoilers it should be completely spoiler free and it's going to be gameplay related just solely alone so hopefully you guys do enjoy it there's no big breaks in this so yeah hopefully you guys are okay for dying off uh, to talk about the story you can see right here it states via the focus entertainment twitter share the glory not the story the countdown to warhammer 40k space marine 2 is nearly over to make sure everyone gets the full space marine 2 experience we kindly ask you one thing no spoilers every space marine out there deserves the thrill of discovering the game's story on their own together that takes care of the long time warhammer fans and newcomers alike by making sure everyone can enjoy the game without being spoiled your fellow brothers and sisters will appreciate it and we tried to adhere to that during the stream today we went into the multiplayer pve we had so much bloody fun inside of it it was absolutely crazy the pvp obviously with it being early early access so basically for just creators only and um, there wasn't really many people going in for the pvp so we are yet to test that one out tomorrow but apparently the test scores are in for those jumping in the metacritic for those of you guys who are wondering which is like a giant collaboration of different people that give their review scores in based on 33 critics is at an 84 which is a respectable movement obviously no user reviews yet because it's not gone out to the public until tomorrow but some of the big names in here have put up some crazy stuff so games radar gave it a four out of five stating every second is spent in shuddering violence and vast gorgeous battlefields developer saber interactive has crafted an outrageously over the top hack and slash shooter and while warhammer fans would expect nothing less newcomers to this grim dark universe couldn't ask for a better or bloodier introduction and they nailed it on the head this game is absolutely insane so massive shout out to games radar for such a great review on it but one person that's been absolutely getting hammered for this is ign this one's a cracking one as they state a terrific third person shooter with a compelling story loads of weapons that are a blast to use and a healthy variety of enemies to use them on is once again borrows many of its ideas from the gears of war series but they're good ideas Ideas. and space marines 2 does a fine job of making them its own and gave it an 8 out of 10 nice little rating there and it would be a nice little rating had they have not given concord a 7 a little bit confusing for those of you guys who don't know concord lasted 11 days before it shut down its service because nobody was playing it because it was a bad game so they gave concord a 7 space marines an 8 the logic in that is absolutely second and then i'll leave you guys to do what you need to do but yeah ign you're just digging yourself a bigger hole. You were already a reviewer that I just never, ever listened to. And now you've solidified this one for me. But they seem to be doing great with the Foot Warhammer 40k and giving away some really cool stuff, some really big streamers, such as this one right here that went to Co Carnage. This is about three feet tall. This looks incredible. I really wish I'd got my hands on one. I really do. But unfortunately, I'm not big enough to obtain one of those sorts of things just yet. But for those of you guys who are sitting there envious with your your jaw dropping you guys can also obtain some pretty cool stuff and no statement is this is not a drill here's a chance to win a unique custom space marines to playstation 5 blessed by the emperor the lucky winner will also get a key of the game really simple to enter but you can see right here this playstation is mental it is 
so mental you have absolutely no idea it looks so over the top it is crazy but it would look so damn good on my setup with 30,000 people give or take entered into this you guys need to dive on in so go and give it a check out i'll leave all the links in the description underneath the source material for you guys to go and have a look at but now we've got those things out of the way in our discord we had a load of people asking in the video qa section of the space marines segments asking a load of questions and the first one right here is the real question is is the gameplay properly optimized and does it have any lags now for me personally i was running it on pc i'm running it with a 4080 and this thing was pretty damn good we did have a few issues with the multiplayer the campaign was absolutely flawless but on the multiplayer it did seem to have quite a few skips jumps frame drops whatever you want to call it now obviously this thing is using the same swarm technology as world war z and the swarms are definitely bloody there it was absolutely chaotic and the online multiplayer for the pve aspect anyway seemed to get a little bit laggy at those really hectic points that's me being completely transparent. Did it stop me enjoying it and stop me having fun? Absolutely not. But for those of you guys who get really irritated by those frame frame rate drops, is that going to cause you a problem? It may well do, to be completely honest. But again, I don't know if that was my optimization and my PC or if it was actually coming from the game itself. So you guys are going to have to take a look around as well and see if that's something that other people are having a problem with. Next up though, the next question we have right here is my simple question is that does it feel and play like Gears of War? Yes. Yes. Very simply. Yes. But a lot crazier. Gears of War was obviously a really good game. Third person hack and slash shooter and it was absolutely amazing. This is again a hack and slash shooter that is absolutely amazing. There is just so many enemies to take out in one time and I've been a Gears of War fan for quite some time over the decade. So yeah, enjoy it. If you're a Gears fan you're definitely going to want to jump in for this. The next question we had right here was we can probably guess the game will be pretty cool. That being said, how is the replayability? Well, obviously we're in the early stages. I've been playing it for around 30 13 to 14 hours so i've not had a massive amount of time but what i can comfortably tell you guys is that the replayability is definitely going to be there if you enjoy the pvp aspect as far as the pve aspect at the moment there's not very many missions we only have the six missions available seven via the pre-order launch i believe that's what it was but irrelevant to it there's only like six replayable missions in the pve compatibility for me that wasn't a lot these are very very long missions and they are very enjoyable to play are you guys going to get bored with the replayability in the PvE? I'm not 100%. Unless there's things that are missing, there might be a few more bits inside of the game to go through. But once you've done the campaign and got your fills worth of the PvE storyline, it is going to be carried by the PvP aspect of it until we get the DLC running forward and obviously utilizing the season pass for the extra content that comes up. It all just depends how often they're going to be dropping the content and what it is you guys think as replayability because I feel like that may well be down to the individual consumer. I will enjoy this for quite some bloody time and it will be a basis, but I think that the PvE is where the longevity sits inside of this game for my personal opinion. Again, just my personal opinion. And then we have this right here saying, how do the weapons feel in game and will you be posting videos of the campaign? Now we're not posting videos of the campaign because I don't really do that sort of stuff here on the channel. Although we are going to be live streaming the full campaign once the game officially launches. I don't want it to be a basis of doing it beforehand. Even though they've given me a copy early, I still don't think that that is a viable option for me to be able to go into the campaign and spoil it for all of you guys. But the weapons feel absolutely incredible. My favorite weapon to utilize is the power sword it looks absolutely mental that power blade is amazing it runs so damn well now obviously for those of you guys who are more shooters you are going to struggle to primarily focus on just using a gun it's not likely to happen quite often but the hack and slash inside of it is absolutely amazing using the gun for those finale points and for the finishes as well as those longer range ads as well it is quite fun to utilize and you will enjoy a lot of it trust me it all blends very very well so hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as i did because when i say i enjoyed it my dudes i have not enjoyed a game like this since helldivers first launch obviously it's in a different space now and i'm really hoping that focus and saber do not do the same thing as what they've been doing over there and hopefully we make sure that this one stays a bit more longevity this one right here though has now going into the comments of the youtube video we had a few top comments and these ones got some love to say the least but it states right here this game is going to absolutely
absolutely F my sleep schedule. Yep, 100%. 100%. The storyline is unfortunately only 12 hours long, but other than the storyline, you guys have got so many cosmetics that you do need to get, and there is a lot that you need to get for every single character. As far as the replayability, is there enough content in there to be able to obtain them all? You guys let me know. I think that you guys have got it in you, that's for damn sure. And then we had another comment right here saying, one day, brothers. That was 10 hours ago. We are getting so damn close to this right now. It's crazy. You guys should be able to smell it on your consoles and on your PCs. You can already get your pre-download sorted for the consoles. Unfortunately, PCs, you're going to have to wait until the actual launch of it. But yeah, makes no sense to me at all on that one. Nonetheless, moving into the next one, this final comment right here states, Into the fires of battle, unto the anvil of war. Absolutely love the roleplay that you guys put into this game. But yeah amazing absolutely amazing unfortunately that's all we've got time for today but the game is absolutely sucking up my lifespan right now i am so damn tired after being in this game today it has been absolutely insane but hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as i have this for me is a top tier game and a triple a title that should definitely be proud of what it's made if you haven't already smash that like button subscribe post notifications turned on thank you so much again for watching guys appreciate you all and as always i'll see you in the clouds